Jon Stewart is coming clean about the real reason Apple TV Plus canned his series. The problem with Jon Stewart, last year, and it has everything to do with his mouth. I wanted a place to unload thoughts as we get into the election season, Stewart told CBS Mornings Monday while explaining why he's rejoining The Daily Show as a Monday night host through the 2024 election cycle starting February 12th. I thought I was going to do it over at, they call it Apple TV Plus, he said about his former network home. It's a television enclave, very small. It's like living in Malibu. But they decided, they felt that they didn't want me to say things that might get me in trouble. The problem with Jon Stewart premiered in 2021 after Stewart signed a multi-year deal with Apple TV+. Season 1 aired episodes every two weeks, while Season 2 switched to a weekly format. According to Variety, while it was reported at the time that Stewart's divorce from Apple TV Plus was amicable, there was behind-the-scenes intrigue that led to his ouster. The New York Times reported that Stewart and his bosses disagreed over which topics he would cover in Season 2, including artificial intelligence in China. Apple CEO Tim Cook was later questioned by members of the U.S. House of Representatives over whether Stewart's departure was because he was planning an upcoming episode about China. While companies have the right to determine what content is appropriate for their streaming service, the coercive tactics of a foreign power should not be directly or indirectly influencing these determinations. The leaders of the House of Representatives Select Committee on the Chinese Communist Party wrote to Cook. Stewart, 61 also told CBS Mornings that he's returning to The Daily Show every Monday night because he wanted to have a platform with which to share his opinions vis-a-vis -vis the 2024 election. Who better to comment on this election than someone who truly understands two aging men past their prime, he said, tongue planted firmly in cheek. He also dismissed ruminations on how much sway he is over public opinion. But as far as influence, just about everything I had wanted to happen over the 16 years that I was at The Daily Show did not happen, if you were hoping for influence, he said. Stewart hosted The Daily Show from 1999 to 2015.